Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. We're in the middle of a dungeon. These two people are talking. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say. Alice, how you doing? I have no eyeballs, you sure stare a lot. This cannot stand! I come from mages do not talk back to their betters. Where you come from, mages do not talk at all, they roll over and die. Those things are not mutually exclusive. Hey, hey, screw yes. you. Go be a crew somewhere else, will you? So, you're out of line, Levant. Come on. You're betters? Come on. Let's not do the classes stuff here. There we go. You heard the boss. <clears throat> Very well. If you're so dedicated to overspending your authority, then I shan't stop you. Overspending your authority. Yeah, okay. I, I kind of see what he's talking about. Overspending it. Yeah, all right. It's like, you know, you only have so many spoons. Okay. I don't think we have anybody to recover here. I honestly don't remember. It's been a couple of days for me. Well, it's been a week. I usually play this once a week, and I have totally forgotten. So I'm going to assume we're all good. Sleep. Excuse me. I don't mean to burp there. Right? Excuse me, please. Um, There's no connections. What the hell? A bunch of floating islands that mean nothing right now, so I guess we'll go... Latency. We're sorry. We're so, so sorry. That's encouraging. There are still lock symbols. There must be a bug. Oh, we do have somebody out. Levant's out. They say this is going to be difficult, didn't they? Um... We want to spin it on Levant. I think unless two of them are out, we're not going to spend it on Levant alone. If somebody else falls over, we're definitely going back to the camp. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Text message time. Jolly fat man dressed in yellow hails you from his caravan. Despite your silent protest, he clearly wants to partake in human interaction with you. Introducing, introducing himself as Bede? Behead? You gotta be Bede, right? Man offers you the opportunity to purchase an item for his magic random chance bags, whatever that is, for the measly fee of 600 dialog. Oddly familiar and not in a good way. What is your decision? Um. Sure. Reaching the bag and draw a hamster. Before you get a chance to complain, you notice speed is somehow fled effortlessly with your money. Curses! What a terrible, terrible ripoff. This is even funny. Sign press onward vowed never again trust a merchant with the overpriced random stock. Goo the hamster. He's unique. That's about all it is, though. Okay, I think that opened up this. Or maybe this. It must be this one. So I guess we're doing a fight. It's, I think we go off just the... I don't know. We'll just click on him and see whether or not we can get to him. It's weird the lines aren't showing up anymore. I don't know, man. It's super weird. All right, anyway... Go here. Let's do a fight. Ominous silence lingers above this vast stretch of shoreline. Okay. Defeat all enemies. Defeat three enemies with single abilities. Win without losing a single health point. Yeah, that might not happen, but we'll see. Without Levant, it's sort of tell. Okay, so we've got ourselves. Four Merkman. That can't be too bad. No, nope, five. Sorry, there's a shaman. We should rush this way and take, it, take out the shaman as soon as possible. I think definitely we want Alice out. We want Griff. If we want to try to go without a single health point loss, then let's let K show up and then we'll put Diego out for moral support, I guess. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you go, you go, and you might as well command and command Alice, Griff, who has shield and who doesn't. You guys all should have shields, but you don't, yeah, oh right, because it didn't start your turn yet, right. Uh, let's put it on Griff. Watch this! I know there's guys coming from over here, 
and they can probably reach us too if we're not careful. So let's just be careful. Be careful. That's all. My turn. Woo. Okay, so you stand. Actually, this does not look like that would impede your movement at all. Or your firing arc, rather. You come over here. And you open fire with snakes. Right there, that's good. Good hits, good hits. And that's it, I think. I could shoot you again. Yeah, the sooner the better, probably. Okay, we can blitz. Do me a favor, stand still. Good hits. All right. So now is when the killing range for Griff, I think. Let us strike. Though he's not gonna be able to reach it. Yeah, I can't run. I can't run then attack from the side. So we're done. Hello, shaman. <laughs> The shaman just twirled. He didn't buff his 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 friends. He blocked his friend. That was stupid. Okay, well, they get together. Hello. Okay, interesting. Did not know that was a thing. He's no longer poisoned either. Okay, Alice. Um, how about some flame? Can you do Well oh, Inferno's not a bad idea. If you jump like back here, maybe blow these guys up. It's not gonna kill them, obviously, but if you go like over here, yeah, there you go. It'll hurt them. Didn't say explosion. Oh, and one of them dodged. Son of a bitch! I hate that. And more guys showed up. Let's go. Why did more guys show up? We're only supposed to... Look at the objectives again. Victory conditions. Defeat all enemies. I guess they didn't define what all was. Feeling kind of betrayed, though. Okay, so you should go up here, I guess. And then put shields on... Oh, you can't put shield on her. Okay, undo the move. Do that first. Watch this! And then come up here. There you go. Do I have to? Now you go quick shot this guy. He might just die now. Thank you. Oh, son of a bitch. I hate the fucking dodges. Griff can take care of it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. At your side. Griff, can you please take care of this now? No quarter. Thank you. Much appreciated. And I'm going to send you after the shaman. Because he needs to die. Again, he just... Okay, there we go. Okay, he got stunned. Son of a bitch. On the upside, that's well within Diego's range now. What does he have? Can't tell yet. Okay, that's good. At least we dodged. Come on, baby. Light my fire. And you know what? Maybe you need to come over here. Let's see. You have 1061. I could burn you guys. Let's do it. Then come over here. Yep, another guy appeared. Let's go. I don't know if it is the shaman that's doing that or what it is. Okay, so you come down. Okay, hold on. Give him shields. Strike now. There's some more shields than he does have right now, and then come down here. Here you go. You can totally not hit the shaman. All right, so you come over here and. Let me shot well three guys. No. Nah, just do your quick shot. Look alive! It hits. Uh, do it one more time. Do me a favor. Stand still. Here's a little something. Okay, that's great. Um, do I do that again? 
He's definitely within killing range, isn't he? Possibly. I think we wait. We can't use Griff, unfortunately. Because he's stunned, so we just pass the turn. I don't know who he's going to hit. Nobody. All right. Alice could maybe hurt him. You're going to gang up? Yep, okay. Big deal. Big deal. No big deal. Is a little out of the way for Griff, though. Griff is way out of touch right now. That sucks. Let's get dangerous. Okay. Fireball here would be pretty good. That might have been killed this guy. So why don't you come over this way? And bonk a fireball off this guy's head. Solid. You know one of them dodge though. I think you blitz and do it again. Can't quench this one. That was pretty sweet. Okay, it's 48. I think K might be able this Let's guys go. just keep appearing. So do a slash move. Kill the shaman. Thank you. Keep up the momentum, guys. Shaman's down. Now it's just the regular guys. Now there are a lot of regular guys, which sucks. Do I have to? Um, so you come over here. And you open fire with poison, because why not? I'm here. Okay. Good enough. The time is now. I don't think Griff can do anything. He can taunt somebody, maybe. He has enough shields? Eh, not really. Oh, what we could do, though, is throw something. How about a... I don't know. Don't really want any of these. I don't know. Dragon Carp could be okay. Throw a Dragon Carp, like, over here. No quarter. There we go. That was a lot of damage. I was not expecting 600 damage. So, okay, that was maybe a little bit of a waste. Walked right through the fire, moron. Okay, without the Shaman, they have no... Well, I mean, the Shaman wasn't really buffing them anyway. But they still have no uh, no speed buff, so that's good. Come on, baby, light my fire. Okay, so we can do the Blazing Barrier again, and that's probably not a bad idea. Right, we... Oh, she, she's right in the way. Um, yeah, come down here. Do Inferno? No, no, no. I think just do Blazing Barrier. You not see over this way? Weird. Anyway, this will work. Let it blow. This guy right here is gonna drop. Definitely gonna drop. I would be tempted to throw a fireball at him, but I'm guessing he's gonna be able to dodge it, so I'm not gonna do it. Another guy appears. We're supposed to defeat all bad guys. How does this work? How do we defeat all bad guys if they keep showing up? I'm very confused. I'm going to put down an Inspire banner so we do a little bit more damage. My turn. Woo. All right. You can shoot this guy. You guys are all new. That guy. These two guys are going to drop. Do marked and hit... Five guys? Sure. You know what? Let's do a money shot. Look alive! Okay. Killed two of them. That's pretty good. And then jump down here. Let us strike. Okay. This guy is 644. I think that's enough. Uh, we we'll probably won't be able to kill him. Yeah, not quite. Still, though. Still, though. We'll kill him next time. Okay, I was worried he was going to be pushed in the fire, but so far so good. He's going to walk right through fire and keep going through fire. He's a moron. I didn't realize these guys were so dumb. You think they'd at least try to avoid the obstacles? 
that. Okay, no more. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to destroy Come the shells. On, baby, light my fire. Yeah, the shells probably generate X number of creatures. I didn't even realize this gel was destructible. And we're nowhere near it right now. Yeah, that's probably it. You probably have to go for the shells. Okay, I didn't even think about that until now. Okay, so how about this? You come in over here. Blow up these guys. Good enough. <laughs> Explosion! Lights okay. out. One down. It's totally it. It's totally it. This is generating X to number me. of shells. So there was a shell up here, now it's gone. So we're doing this the hard way. Not ideal, of course, but I think we can make this work. And shoot this guy. Thank you. And let's leave overconfidence for later. At your side. Butcher. Um, you should definitely taunt this guy. Okay, so he might go straight through. That's like 100 damage each. He's not going to drop, but he's going to take some damage. Good dodge, good dodge. And these guys are all going to take the right turns. This might have been a great place to put down the, the barrier. Should we send over someone to blow this up? Might not be a bad idea. I don't know how more, many more bad guys are going to spawn. Thank goodness this one's done. This the one could be infinite. On. She has no path. Uh, let's see. You've got 73. So he's going to drop. We don't need to worry about him. The bear is going to be up for one more turn. That's going to be enough to take him out. We can put up another blazing barrier. But she needs to be able to see the middle of it. To put it right here would be good, but... She needs to be able to get to it, and she can't right now. We can just wait. We can move Diego. Let's do that. Oh, I can't because she's at the end of her turn. Fuck. Or the end of the... She's at the end of the initiative order. All right. So, bounce fireball off this guy's head, I guess. Let it flow! Yeah, destroying go. the shell would be pretty good. Okay, so here, give him more shields. Thank you. Um, okay, the empowering thing is gone, so now she can move around. What do you need? Probably want to move Diego anyway. Oh, the bear is gone. He didn't die. I was promised death and destruction. Uh, Griff can take care of him. Comes down to it. Come over here. And shoot this guy. Actually, let's poison him. For great justice! Smack this guy down. Come over here. Let's push them back. Smack this guy down. There we go. I like it. Two and one. This shell, though, has to go. I think we have to bring over Diego or somebody to knock out the shell. And Diego's probably not the one to do it. It's probably going to have to be Alice. I don't know how many more things it can this thing Let's make, get but I'm assuming it's going to be a lot. So come down this way. Blitz is not going to get me there, but what we can do put down this. That'll hurt them as they go towards Griff. Assuming they always go towards Griff, which they seem to be doing. Then Alice Let's needs go. to make her way over there, because I don't know how many things it's going to create. Okay, so you shield up Griff. Right at you! And then you run over here. Kind of get out of his way. And let's see. 71. Okay, so you shoot 
You can come over here to shoot anybody. Oh, you shouldn't be in the way, though. That's in the way of Alice. There you go. Freaking dodges, man. Let us Hate the strike. dodges. Uh, you do not want to do anything like that right now. So why don't you come over here. And you go and do finishing touch. I uh, will not kill him, though. Yeah, it does more damage if he's below 40% health. So that's not going to do anything right now. So regular, regular hit is fine. Oh, actually, Crescent Strike. Let's do Crescent Strike. Because that does more damage. And it gives me shields, I think. Okay, well, they have to go through the fire to get around to him anyway. It's so actually all the Kelpie Kick did and make sure that... Oh, okay, never mind. You know what I was talking about. Okay, it's okay. She had shields. It's fine. If we're not careful, though. Griff is going to find himself surrounded. Oh, Alice can't move now. She's stuck. Well, she can go around the right side, but Let's it's going to be trouble. Let's get dangerous. Um, do, 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 do. How about you come up this way? You can center an explosion right here. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't center it on the rock. I don't know why. The rock is fireproof, I guess. I have no idea. Anyway, can't do it. Bounce a fireball off somebody's head. These three guys are a little bit of a worry. We come over here instead. Down a fireball on these guys. Okay, good. Took one of them out. 442, that's pretty good. Blitz. I'm about to lose control! And I think I like it! I can't actually bounce fireball off anyone's head, so I'm gonna put deterrence on Griff. Let it flow! Not my best option there, but. Okay, so then you come up over here. And you put shields on Diego, because he's going to need it. Diego? Yeah, he needs it. Let's get this over with. Okay. Putting a target dummy here would probably make them attack it. So let's do that. Hence, if I do say so myself. And then he gets a chance to run. I don't think we could have hit... Yeah, we could have maybe hit them, but they wouldn't have dropped. At your side. Okay, so you can come over here. Smack down this guy. You will die. Thank you. One down at least. Okay, that's it for you. You're gonna hit Alice, aren't you? Yep. On the upside, no health lost. Okay, good. That one guy was taunted. But that means we got everyone further away from the shell, which is spitting out bad guys. So how do we fix this? This thing only lasts a turn, right? It only lasts two turns. Um, I think we still want to go down this way then. Not going to hit anybody if we do it now. What we could do, though, how about this? We'll put a blazing barrier. Hmm. I have to choose. The thing is, it's only these two guys, right? No one else is coming from this direction. The barrier is just for damage. What we could do is put a barrier here, and that would burn him. He has to walk across this in order to get to K. I think it's his goal. This firewall only lasts one more turn. Let's save it. Do two fireball, I guess. It's 400 health, 600 health. Does have 900? Okay, so come over here. Bounce the fireball off this guy's head. Yeah. Catch. Got it. 
That was not... Oh, okay, the shell's gone. Okay, so... I mean, it's bound to happen sooner or later, but that seems like a long way to go about it. And the firewall's gone, too. That sucks. Okay, K. Um... Your shield, you have 420. That's not too bad. Everyone else's shields look okay. I think you just go ahead and boost Griff here. Right at you! Unfortunately, we're about to be surrounded here, so I think maybe we come around this side. Gonna be hit, but at least not surrounded. My turn. Woo. Shoot this guy. He dies. Thank you. That was a good chance right there that he could have just not died. Okay, 658. Not gonna be able to kill him if I'm my blitz. This guy's gonna be taunted, which is fine. Can't shoot this guy unless I move forward. I think we just, yeah, we move out of the way, basically. So no one can get to us. Maybe this guy can. The time is now. Uh, how about this? You come up here and you use your running attack. Yeah, there we go. Not on my watch. Okay. And then you blitz and kill him. That is not possible. It cannot be killed. At least not this turn. Well, Alice might be able to do it, right? Throw a fireball at his head. Yeah, okay, you blitz. Push them back! And pinpoint strike. That's pretty good. Fireball will definitely take him out now. We gotta wait for all the other turns next. Really wish that kick didn't land. He's still taunted, that's fine. But nobody else is. Okay. The kick missed, which is good. But I think this other guy can get to him. Yep. Good dodge, good dodge. These guys can't get to him yet, but if they group the up, Fireball might, or an explosion might not be a bad idea. Go you. Let it flow. Not too bad. And then see where you are, because I don't want anyone else. Oh, maybe come down here. This is gonna disappear, is the thing. Yeah, well, Griff always needs more shields, right? Grant that. My turn. Woo. Okay, I don't think anyone can get to you right now, so come up here. I know 7, 695. Let's go ahead and even this out a little bit. Let us strike. Okay, Crescent Strike will hit two of these guys. Let's do that. No quarter. Nice. He is so close to death right now. I could probably kill him by Blitz. I just want to kind of get out of the way. Because there's two of these guys are going to group up. I don't know where she's going to go. He might go to Alice. This guy might go to Alice. This guy, though, is definitely going towards Griff. But he can't get to Griff, right? Because it's not orthogonal. If I kill this guy, then he will go to Griff. Because then there'll be a space for him to go to and hit him. Yeah, anything that opens up that possibility. So that Alice doesn't get ganged up on there. Push them back! Do this. Yep, straight to Alice. That's not surprising. Oh, but the miss was. That was a nice surprise. Okay, hits Griff. Okay, that's what his shields are for. Turn up, he goes over. Managed to hit Griff. Okay, not so bad. I kind of wish I'd Flame figure out the shell thing earlier. Shell thing run was nice to find out, but too late now. So, I don't want to put a big old explosion right there, but it will hit Griff, and that's not a good time. Yeah, now is not the time for explosions, I don't think. Sad to say. What we can do is come over here and put down a blazing barrier. And then this guy will have to come through it. Probably could even kill this guy, and this guy will be encouraged to come through it, theoretically. 
We want to step over. I don't think it's going to matter, but... Hell. Okay, this guy, he doesn't really need more shields, but I suppose he could always use them. But I think Inspire is going to be better. Behold! And that way he can't be kicked away, right? Now this is kind of blocking him. Okay, shoot. Let's see, the tar shot I really don't like, but does more damage. I don't know, it doesn't, though. No, the quick shot's actually better. Do that then. Um, let's see. I realized he was. Oh, they're right, because he came over from the other side. Yeah, he's full health. No, that's fine, though. I think we blitz and kill this guy off. Do me a favor. Stand still. So you can hit Diego. Look alive! There you go. Thank you. Wait, it worked? Well, it's bound to happen sooner or later. Let us strike! Okay, Crescent Strike is on cooldown for two turns, so just pinpoint strike on the guy in the fire. Heaven! Thank you. Okay, so that well occurs fought. this guy to come through the blaze in order to get to the one section that Griff is vulnerable at. He can be kicked away, or I guess slapped in the heart hard. Yeah, there we go. Just shields, no big. And sure enough, right through the blaze. That's great news. He's a moron. Even though the kick landed, he couldn't go anywhere because. Come on, baby. Light my fire. The banner was there, so that's good. So bounce fire about these guys' heads, and then this guy will be dead, I think. Not in valid range. Is he he's just one square away, isn't he? That's dumb. Okay, good hits. He will definitely die next turn. The firewall lasts for two. That's gonna be long enough to keep it up. Let's go. So shoot this guy. Right at you. Basically, ah, oh, damn it. Basically, we want to oh, just. Oh, for the love of. Your shot almost never hits K. We just wanted to focus on this guy because this guy's already dead. Okay, um, I think blitzing from you is more likely to do more damage, so... Do me a favor, stand still! He dodged it though, and got uh, shields. <laughs> uh, perhaps we should talk about this. At your side. Preston is still down, I'm not gonna shoot you, so I'm gonna hit you instead. Yeah, but I'm all dead really is knock down a shield, which is important, sure, certainly, but... <laughs> Sucks. Still lots of shields oh, heat is on. That guy drops. Yeah, looks like he's gonna go one more turn. It has to. Could do Inferno here. Seems like overkill, but it said it'll do a thousand damage to him, so I'm kind of curious about that. Let's do it. There you go, 670. That was enough. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that worked, I suppose. That was a little long because of the frickin' shells of generation, but it still worked. We didn't lose anybody. Your text adventure. Oh, hey, the lines show up now. Oh, let's go over here then. Okay, yeah, enter the node. A scream along the trail alerts you to the presence of a panicked mob of peasants running your general direction. Something has clearly started them. Yeah, no shit. Grab one of them as they pass and ask what's up. Monster, sir, he explains in a breathy voice. The monster holed up in the old cavern. We're just binding our fields, living in peace. We tried to do something about it, but it pounced at us and chased us away. Oh, what sort of monster are we talking about here? Well, he looks sideways, clearly avoiding eye contact, skimming from one leg to the other in an embarrassed manner. Truth be told, it didn't really pounce at us, so we don't kind of don't know. But he's dangerous, all right? Um, all right, I guess we'll handle it. On the direction given by thankful peasants, you reach the dreaded cave. All of sickly green mist shrouds the entrance. That's what lies beyond, is anyone's guess. Sure, one the cave, what the hell? The cave expands in logical, orderly fashion with the man's hand clearly visible. The man. Oh, as in, it was actually crafted by someone human. Alright. The presence of, of tunnel props suggests it was a mine once. Deeper yet, everything remained still and cloaked in silence, disturbed only by the faint murmur of dripping water. Further along the shaft, you begin to hear a strange sound, a long, monotonous wail, steadily growing in audibility, and source is likely nearby. Sure, let's investigate. 
As the whale continues gaining volume, you cannot help but feel there is something fundamentally odd about it. It may just be you, but it's almost like someone is trying way too hard to be scary and failing. Theo, is that you? Almost as if in reply to these thoughts, random rocks begin to lift in the air and shake menacingly. Really? The whale deepens and morphs grotesquely into a lambasting off key outburst from cacophony. Go away! Go away! Ooh! Now that's just obnoxious. Wrapped in ribbons of silvery smoke, a spectral silhouette comes into existence right before your eyes. A frail-looking apparition of a boy stares at you. Come on, you're not afraid. Why aren't you afraid? Or what are you? The ghostly image blinks. Me? My name is... He pauses, eyes narrowed in some kind of inner struggle. Finally, he quizzically tilts his head. Sorry, mister, I don't know. Can't remember my name. Why can't I remember my name? Can't remember your name? The image dims for a split second. When the boy speaks again, the voice describes some quiet frustration. That's bad, isn't it? But I'm sure I had one. If only I could... If, only, if I could only recall. I need to, but I can't. Why do you need to remember? He said it would help, that I would be free... I want to be free. Still and dark here. People visit, but they don't understand. Don't come back. Phantom Cloud, brief, Cloud briefly twists his face. All blur, the scare, the fun, the name, just shadows. His voice inexplicably lowers, now bleak and distorted like a low droning hum of the grave. No substance, no existence. So who's he exactly? Preacher from the land of the sun, he pauses and ponders. I think they wanted him to talk to me. Help me? Kill me? Don't, didn't mind. He was a good man. He smiles sadly, but he's not here anymore. They all go away. So, if you remember your name, you would be free, you'd be able to rest peacefully. He stares at you unblinking. Well, yeah, he's a ghost. Eventually, he nods resolutely. Yes, I think he was right. He said he said that the name is to master, and to master is no beginning is an end. His voice distorts creepily as he speaks, fluctuating excitedly in octaves. I need an end. I need closure. I'll help, but how do we even accomplish that? He's staring at you cluelessly. Apparently, he doesn't know either. Hmm, there's obviously something to link your spirit to these minds. Let me look around. Main shaft twists and turns, splitting countless passageways. It doesn't really matter. Let's go west, I guess. Continue west. Sun dripping water, a barely noticeable hum in the background seems to intensify. Keep going west. Continue west. After a while, you reach a minuscule opening within the rock wall. Water trickles lazily through, having a long since formed a small puddle on the cavernous floor. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest here, and no way to continue. Alright, so we go back. And we go east. Somehow this section appears older than the rest. Perhaps once this passage was made, there was another way into the mines. Let's keep going east. The way forward is sealed. You step on something leathery and jingly. Reach down and follow and find a small sack of gold. So we'll grab the bag. And keep going east. And go east again. The way is sealed, right? Go back. Go west now. Go west. I'm puzzled what they want us to do here. This section appears highly unstable and unrefined. While fumbling and jagging in a stinging, stinging terrain, you manage to spot a jumbled heap of bones down below. Human bones. I don't know how we did that, but sure. Carefully descend. The Great Carry managed to descend safely into the pit. Wrapped in bluish rags lies a miserable pile of bones. Not a pretty sight. Investigate. The pressing skeleton remains aside. Two things stand out to you. The tattered blue uniform of the deceased a small satchel underneath his left arm. Uh, let's look at the clothes first. Simple dingy outfit hasn't endured the passage of time well and appears ready to collapse with but a touch. Its size and cheap semi-formal style seem to indicate it used to serve as a student uniform of some kind. Name is sewn on the one of the lapel. Lapel. Gavin. Okay, let's examine something else. Then the satchel. While the satchel itself is largely unassuming, its contents are not. Inside you find what looks like a leather-bound journal. The horribly mangled in the present, and from what you can glean from its remaining pages, it was obvious someone used to care a great deal once. The first surviving entry. We're here. This is going to be so great. To be honest, the instructor warned us about these mines, said they were off limits and dangerous. That's the awesome part, right? Nobody will say that Gavin, Bevan, and Bree are afraid. Besides, only for a couple hours. Nobody back at the camp will notice anything. Okay, second entry. Stuck. I'm stuck. The floor collapsed, and now I'm here at the bottom of this hole. Good thing the guys managed to avoid falling down. Gavin even threw me his jacket so I won't get cold. But it's dark and smelly here. Hope the guys will bring someone soon. Okay, so it's not Gavin. So, jacket thing is totally just a red herring. The third entry. Nobody came. Gavin left me. Bree left me. Why'd they leave me here? Okay, so not Gavin or Bree. Let's do the first one again. 
So it's Bevan. It's weird he puts himself second. His name is Bevan. Uh, let's look at the skeleton here. You're by no means an expert in all things gruesome, but you feel like you can make several reasonable guesses about this poor chap. Young age, no sign of physical trauma, no physical deterioration. It's highly unlikely that it was the fall that killed him. Okay, so I think we can go back to the ghost. I think I know your answer, spirit. My name, he whispers, and whisper tra trails off unnaturally as if carried away by unseen pathways. Spectral eyes, previously windows, pale shadows of emotion, now glow with pure excitement. Please tell me, what is my name? Bevan, I'm pretty sure. He's a savor the name. Pondering, tasting, digesting. And his features charming and clean, brightening with happy smile. Bevan, yes, that's me. I died here because I went away from camp. I didn't listen. He shakes his head and begins to laugh heartily. But it was long ago, wasn't it? Now I'm free to go. Free to rest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, warmth overwhelms you and you black out for a moment. You come to, the boy is nowhere to be found. What's more, as odd as it sounds, the world feels better somehow. Can't help but crack a smile. We got a scarf. And a lot of DLC. That's my experience. All right. Not too shabby. Do one more text adventure. Justice. Your party wanders into proverbial Nowheresville, one of many lonesome remote villages, an unnamed collection of shacks and souls. As you stride into the village square, you're greeted by a rather impressive crowd. You can tell the moods are rather tense. One of the men, recognizing you as their king from one of the many letters sent around by your sisters, approaches you for help. Apparently, there's been a murder in the village, and the townsfolk turn to you for judgment. As the king, it is deed within your right to pass sentences on subjects. All right, tell me more. They take you before a man no older than 35. His face conveying the impression of someone who's tired of having to constantly fight and plead for his own salvation. Not out of arrogance, but fatigue. He doesn't acknowledge you in any way. The man is likely the suspect. This doctor hunted his limbs weren't enough to clue you in. All right. Who is this man? Waylon the blacksmith, father of three, married. Well, sort of, not anymore. What do you mean? He killed his own wife, an elderly woman shrieked from the crowd, prompting them to go into an agitated outburst. As they calm down, your guide clears his throat and continues. That's true. He killed his wife, Sir Loren. That's a big thing, right? Murder, I mean. Alright, what proof do you have? He briefly gnashes his teeth, taking a sneaky glance at the gathered townsfolk like a blade of grass afraid of a stampede. See, that's the thing. He, um, he confessed. He wants to be punished. That's not something out of the usual playbook, you know? Kinda. We don't know what to do with him. Um, so let's talk to him first. You walk up to the incarcerated convict and hope you're getting some answers. He raises his head to look at you, his face reminiscent of a dull gray tapestry, but otherwise he says nothing. So, hello. People say you murdered your wife. No answer? Apparently don't deny that, and I want to understand why. The first time a spark appears in his dull eyes, shining through the dull glaze of sorrow. Slowly he appears to be thinking about his words, examining his feelings. Matilda, he utters. I loved her, yet I killed her. I am a murderer. I... He pauses and you can feel the barely contained anger that is now gripping his heart. Seething and heaving, the man lowers his gaze again. She was... She was... She was cheating on me. Amory grunts, turning to uncontrollable sobs. All of my work. She wanted to take over the smithy and live there with that man. That man! He pauses again, his anger now resigned, reined in by anguish, his body deflating rapidly like bloom. Okay. How do you know she was cheating on you? I saw them do it. I walked in on them, heard everything, everything. Okay, so that's really bad. So who was it? Who was your wife with? Doesn't answer. Well, no answer. All right. Don't think you get anything more out of him for now. Okay. Can you tell me anything else that would be use? He's a good blacksmith. Best one we ever had, in fact. Not sure if that was what you're looking for. I mean, I guess we don't have a choice. For that how, member of House of Run, we pass the sentence spreads fast. Before you know it, the short span of time it takes you for to collect your thoughts, the crowd doubles in volume. At this point, you think the entire village might be gathered in attendance. You send the stairs to a small wooden podium. Look around for a moment, your figure now a focus for all the stairs around you. The tense, the curious, the vindictive, everyone is looking at you intently. So he wants to be punished, the thing is. But I'm against the death penalty, personally. Jailed for five to ten years? Yeah. Or we could exile him. 
Leave the kingdom and never come back. That might actually be the way to go. Because he wants to be punished. He might turn into a wild man, though. We could just go to another kingdom. Let's exile him. Let's exile him. He's exiled the man far beyond the familiar confines of his village. While the crowd is visibly upset, they nevertheless see the man leave in relative peace. One way or the other, sometime, somewhere, he will face judgment. And everyone liked it except Levant. Levant did not like it. Well, tough, Levant. You're in tiny little pieces right now. I leveled up. That's something. One more battle. We should probably go back to camp. And restore Levant. It's just so we have him for the final battle. I don't know if we need him, but... It'd be a waste not to do it, right? And then you know what? We're going to end the episode here. We're going to finally save that final battle for next time. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Regalia of Men and Monarchs. I'm PC University, or PC University 2, and I'll see you guys next time.